All right, time for a Daily Planet demo. And with us is David Willey, who always makes interesting, explosive, crazy things happen. Good to see you. Okay. So what do you got there? Well, I got two rusty steel balls. Uh, used to be ball bearings from an oil rig. Uh -huh. and I buried them in my backyard to get them rusty. This one's covered in aluminum foil. And what I want to do is demonstrate the thermite reaction for you. Oh, right? wow. Yeah. So, well, what is that spark well, from? When I hit them together, it produces heat. And that heat is enough to initiate a reaction where the aluminum wants to grab the oxygen from the rust and just leave steel behind. And that's exactly what it does. And, and it, not always, but see, nice spark. There okay, you know what? I, I'll be, I mean, I'll be polite. Yep. That, that is very nice. But, you know, on Daily Planet, we expect things on a little bit of a bigger scale. Of course you do. That's why I brought this along with me. Oh, what do we got here? <laughs> Here we have a supersized thermite reaction. Here's the aluminum powder. Okay. Here's the iron oxide. And what we're going to do is mix them together in this bucket. Okay. And then hopefully initiate that thermite reaction. So this this is down in the bucket here. Come have a look. Come have a look. This yeah, is the yeah. this is the rust. That's the rusty steel ball that's that's there yeah, basically. That's rust. And, and this is powdered aluminum. Okay. And we're just going to mix that in there. There's half a kilogram of the aluminum and just over one and a half kilograms of the iron oxide. Okay. And now this won't catch fire by itself because it no. needs it needs that hit. It needs an ignition. Yeah. Needs a source of ignition. Now we can't hit it with anything, but I've got some magnesium ribbon there. Okay. And we're going to hopefully initiate that reaction with this. Now, got to make sure that this is mixed really, really well. Okay. And then we're going to put it in those flower pots there. So let's see. Did that work? Oh, well, looks mixed. Now it looks pretty mixed. Yes. Still put that there. Okay. So equal amounts. All right, now let's put that out of the way. Now, magnesium ribbon. And now this could, how, how big is this fireball gonna be? I don't know. Really? Bigger than any fireball I've ever made before though. <laughs> oh no, you, yes. You said Daily Planet wanted it big, so. We do, we do. We are gonna make it All big. Right. So, so we'll each light one. Magnesium ribbon, yes, thank you very much. Okay. Ready? ready? Let's get these going. And there we go. Maybe a little further down. And we should be good. There we go. Uh, it's so bright. Yep. Well, now, what's pouring out the bottom? Molten steel. Molten steel? That was as th a third as hot as the surface of the sun while that was going on. This is how they used to weld railroad lines together. Really? Yeah, they'd build a box around where the gap is, put a canister of this above, and let that molten steel drip into between the rails. That's how they would weld rails together. Well, we didn't do too badly on these flower pots either. David, it's always a pleasure. Thank you Same for the, here, the Thank thermite you, reaction. Yep.